A day after her former party said she was leaving them, the MLA for Richmond North Center confirmed she has joined the Conservative Party of BC and is no longer with BC United. Believe me, this was not an easy decision, but one they have been contemplating for many months. I love the fact that she is so passionate about uh, her community, about um, her riding, uh, but also about this province and where things are to go. And it is tremendous pleasure to have Teresa Watt come over and join us. Teresa Watt, who was first elected to the BC Legislature in 2013, is the fourth BC United MLA to defect to the BC Conservatives over the last year. She says she has changed parties less than three months before the next election because of her constituents. Everybody come to me and say, Teresa, we need to defeat NDP. The only way to defeat NDP, we wish you can join BC Conservative. On Monday, the BC United revealed what was leaving for the Conservatives and alleged her team had exported confidential member information prior to her decision. Watt says her team was doing what the party had asked to be election ready. What she, the team member was doing, it was before my decision to move to BC Conservative, was trying to copy the information of the voters in my riding so that it can be distributed to our door knockers. We will be following Elections BC rules and we'll also be following the privacy rules and we will not be using any data that is inappropriate for the party to, uh, to be able to connect with people. On Tuesday, a new research co-poll suggested support for the B.C. Conservatives continues to grow, with 38 percent support for the party among decided voters, right behind the governing B.C. NDP. The B.C. United, formerly known as the B.C. Liberals, in fourth with 9 percent. I can see that the only party that can defeat NDP is B.C. Conservative. The next provincial election is scheduled for October 19th. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.